Thank you for tuning in. Well, today I got Burger King. Now, Burger King is not a, a place that I go to too often. And you know, a lot of people comment, they say, uh, you know, that they ask me if I eat at fast food restaurants all the time. I think they get that impression, but the only time I do lately is when I make these videos, because I don't normally go to a lot of fast food restaurants. Now, that's not to say that I don't, but I mean, not as much as I do when I make these videos. So, uh, I went to Burger King today, and Burger King, the last time I was there was probably 10 years ago. And the time before that was probably, you know, 8 or 10 years. It's just not a restaurant I, I frequent that much, I'm not sure why. So, I went there and I got this nice big hamburger. This is uh, the, the, the Big King. It's supposed to have two patties and that sort of thing. A uh, bacon king, pardon me, it's a bacon king. And I got the meal, I got a uh, fries and a couple of apple turnovers and a Coke. Now, on the way back, I stuck my hand in the bag and the, the fries were piping hot. They were good, really good. And surprisingly, they're quite busy there today. I can always smell Burger King when I drive by on the highway. There's a few restaurants along the way, but that's one I can always smell. Okay, that's a nice looking hamburger. Have a look at that. Well, that's a big one. Take a bite out of it. It's kind of home for some tomatoes or something, but. There's a young man just trying to parallel park. And of course, it's not easy to do, especially when you're learning. And he's doing his best and got traffic lined up behind you, but it kind of puts the pressure on. But he managed to shoot on the vehicle into the spot. But it got me thinking about um, when I took my driver's test. Cool, I went to the offer drive. 
private training, not as part of the curriculum, but they had like a portable at the school with uh, simulators and all that. So you could take it, you know, uh, on your own time. And if you took driver training, you got a discount on your insurance. to get my learner's license.
there's quite a few bridges. So I decided to take this the steel bridge. It was a very narrow bridge. And when you're a novice driver, you kind of white knuckle, you know, because it's such a narrow bridge. You know, you got a lane this way and a lane that way, and no room for error. Uh, the other bridges, some of the other bridges, they were wider. They had sidewalks and that sort of thing. So anyway, I wanted to get that over with. So I told Mr. Schumacher my plans, and we started driving. Drive down, down. No problem. Go across the narrow bridge. Drive around downtown, wants me to park. So I find a place to park. Pull in there. No problem. Easy peasy. Start driving back again. Going up a wider bridge this time, so I got the worst over. And he says, turn down this residential street. So I did. This is, I want you to park over there. And I thought, oh man, again. So I did. I managed to park okay. Went back, and that was it. I, I qualified for my learner's license, so I know I had my learner's license. And he told me I did a good job. He said, just, you know, pay attention to, uh, you know, like uncontrolled intersections, stuff like that. And I thought, okay, sure, thank you. My sister had her license, she's three years older. And I would drive with her, and my, I'd drive with my parents, I got a lot of practice. So my birthday was in April, and I wanted to get my license. I thought I'd wait a couple of months to make sure I'm really good. A lot of people get their license on their birthday, my friend Richard did that. So I thought I want to wait and make sure that I'm really good. So. Okay, head back. So I head back to the parking lot. 
I thought, well, I flunked. I've, I've done something wrong. I said, well, if you get 10 things, 10 points taken off, you fail. He said, you lost two for checking and not checking an uncontrolled interception, which is why he was going like this with his pencil back and forth. I lost two points for not checking the railroad crossing. I just went over it without even thinking. I was so nervous, right? And he took five off. I can't remember what the five was for. I really can't remember. It may have been... I honestly can't remember. It may have been, uh, uh, you know, not yielding or... Uh, your speed, you know, just take it easy. You're not a professional driver yet. Okay, that's fine. So, it was a Friday. I borrowed my parents' 1968 Ford Galaxy 302. Went like hell. It's a two-door with a vinyl top. Beautiful car. Wasn't crazy about the paint jobs, kind of like a light blue. It's just Besides what? 
That was a very good meal, surprisingly. Wow, I'm full. Once again, my friends, you know, when I was smoking pot and smoking hash and whatever as a kid, I was a teenager. I should have known better. I certainly don't do that now. And I, once again, I, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite, but I don't condone that type of behavior. So please don't do that. Uh, you know, as, as you grow older, you you grow wiser usually. So uh, I'm just glad, like I said, that I was never in an accident or no one ever got hurt. Because I, I shudder to think about some, pardon me, I shudder to think about some of the things I used to do when I was a kid. You know, when you're a teenager, you, you do all that, that stuff, right? Anyway, as always, my friends, I hope that you're safe and secure and where you want to be in life. So look after yourself, look after each other, and thank you for tuning in. Okay, you take care.